wave tissue generation therapy. Okay, so a couple of you have heard about it. Um, so that's what we're gonna to discuss today. I want you leaving here um, with an understanding of what it is, how it works, and how it may be a viable solution you know, to your problems. Now, of course, you know, before I uh, did this uh, presentation or talk, I did a little bit of research on Google. I'm sure, you know, we all get on Google, and you'd be surprised, just Google, you know, what's success rate of shoulder surgery, rotator cuff specifically? 50% success rate. 50% of people who have shoulder surgery or rotator cuff end up having to have it redone. Knee surgery, you know, a third are successful. Okay, and that's right down the line with back surgery as well. You know, a third of the people that have back surgery, it's the same, a third it's worse. You know, a third, one third it's better. So basically you have a 66% chance of it being the same or worse. Now the other thing, you know, as a doctor, and this is all doctors, you always want to go from the least invasive to the most invasive. Okay, so surgery obviously is the most invasive, you know, thing that you can end up with. Because once you have surgery, there's, there's no going back. You know, the tissue's either cut, you know, replaced, or, or whatever they may do at that point in time. So that's where we came across SoftWave. So SoftWave is not new technology. It's just newer technology here in the U.S. It was actually developed in Germany over 14 years ago. It's only been FDA approved, uh, approved in the U.S. for the last four years. So unfortunately in the U.S. we are a little bit behind you know, when it comes to new technology. I, I am here to tell you though, not just soft wave uh, tissue regeneration or stem cell therapy, um, but stem cell therapy in the whole, it is the future you know, of medicine. So the Civic machine we have, like I said, was developed in Germany, and there's some pictures of it. Um, now the fancy name for it is extracorporeal shockwave therapy. Basically what the machine does is it produces an electrostatic shock that goes right through healthy tissue. When it hits damaged tissue, it breaks up the scar tissue, uh, cause it basically recycles it, um, and then Really, the, the key is it causes exosomes to be released into the blood, which actually attracts the body's normal stem cells. See, our bodies actually produce stem cells on their own. You know, that's their body's natural way of healing. They're produced in the long bones. And what this machine does is it tracks those stem cells into the area. You know, like I mentioned, it's been available in the U.S. Uh, for the last four years. Unfortunately, until recently, you, know, you couldn't get your hands on it because you know, all your national, you know, like the Harvard Medical, National Institute of Health, Mayo Clinic, um, all your professional sports teams, you know, they basically you know, took the machines that were coming in. Um, I'm sure, or maybe not, you guys haven't seen it, but doctors even had a show on it um, as far as the soft wave. So I already kind of mentioned this, but really how SoftWave works is it tricks the body, um, with specifically with a chronic condition, with the uh, hydrostatic photon of energy that goes in, and it causes an inflammatory response in the actual specific area. Okay, so it basically ignites the area, although there's no more trauma there than there was before, and then it attracts stem cells into the area. It increases blood flow by two to three hundred percent. So if you increase blood flow into a damaged area, that uh, increases lymphatic drainage as well, so it reduces inflammation. And then like I mentioned, it causes the signal, the cell-to-cell -cell communication through these exosomes, which activate and attract stem cells into the area to heal and repair it. So, this is what the machine looks like. So this is treating the wrist. Um, so like I said, it, it puts that acoustic sound wave into the joint, increases circulation. But again, what sets itself apart is, as it's hitting the damaged tissue, you know, it releases that hormone called the exosome that goes into the bloodstream. Um, and that's what attracts stem cells in the area. And then the stem cells, that's what implants and heals and repairs. 
Now, specifically, what is a stem cell? A stem cell is a blank cell. You know, so, you know, they use this actually the same technology in all different areas of the body. Okay, so if you run this machine, cardiologists use the machine before or after heart surgery, over the heart, it causes the heart tissue, if there's damage, to release the exosome. Those stem cells come and implant into the heart and grow and replace that damaged heart tissue. Okay, obviously, we're not working on the heart. Um, we're primarily working on muscles, um, ligaments, tendons, joints. You know, that's our focus in the office. Uh, but they use the exact same machine. Um, we do see some neuropathy, so that does affect fat cells um, as, far, as far as nerve transmission. Um, but, you know, as far as bone cells, um, it affects, you know, the, the blood cells, the nervous system, epithelial cells, and the immune system. You know, so think of a stem cell as just a blank cell. You know, it's undifferentiated, which means it become anything. You know, so when it implants into a ligament tissue that's damaged, it replaces that ligament tissue. If it implants into a muscle tissue, it replaces that muscle tissue, and so forth. Or meniscus, as far as I can see. So the common treated conditions that we see in the office, or at least that we focus on, um, is neck and back pain. Okay, so we have had you know, patients that are under regular chiropractic care, but they've had surgery before they start coming to our office, and they've had scar tissue, disc degeneration. Uh, stem cells help them significantly. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, you know, knee, ankle, muscle. I mentioned neuropathy, carpal tunnel, damaged ligaments, plantar fasciitis, you know, disc injuries in our It is also shown to increase mitochondrial function, which basically means it gives the body more energy to heal and repair itself. Um, and like I mentioned, they've used it in cardiology, uh, they've used it for sexual dysfunction. I mean, it, again, it goes back to, an, you know, this machine is used for many uses. Our focus is on the joints. Now, there are many different types of stem cell therapies out there. I always believe in going from the least invasive, the safest, and the most cost effective. And then, of course, then from there, you can work your way up. So you can see on the bottom is the soft wave uh, stem cell therapy. You know, basically, it's safe, effective, it's non invasive. It takes about nine visits over 12 weeks to notice the changes. So it's relatively fast. You know, it's not multiple visits. Um, it's basically nine visits over a period of 12 weeks. Some people will choose, you know, for a year to do a recovery period, which is once a quarter. Um, they would also come in after that, but we also have people that don't. The typical cost, ours is actually less than that, but the typical <coughs> average for uh, soft wave therapy is between three to $6,000. Ours is actually 191250. Um, the next would be uh, uh, platelet rich plasma, you know, where they actually uh, take blood out of your system, they spin the exosomes out, and then they inject it into the damaged area. The exosomes then go and do exactly what the software does, causes the dormant stem cells to come in to heal and repair. Some of these other ones, um, some people have heard of, and there's, of course, commercials on the news radio as far as uh, uh, where they actually harvest stem cells from the long bones in your body. So instead of waiting for the body to actually uh, cause those dormant stem cells to come in the area, they actually uh, harvest the stem cells from the long bones and then inject it you know, into the area of concern. Or you can have donor stem cells injected, uh, okay, which of course is the most costly, that's 20 to 30 thousand. And I always say the last option, you know, of course, would be surgery if nothing else works. Now, stem cell therapy really uses the body's natural healing cascade. You know, it doesn't matter if you get a cut in your finger, you know, or if you tear a, a rotator cuff. You know, your body goes through the same healing cascade. You know, the first 
you know, basically four weeks, your body's just rushing blood into the area to heal and repair it. Okay, which will, you know, actually cause, even without stem cell, you know, some stem cells to come in the area, you know, to heal it. Um, and then basically, you know, between, you know, four, you know, to six weeks, more stem cells come in, they start healing, and then they do what's called remodeling. Okay, so if you look at as far as stem cells, you know, think of the initial stem cells as you're running over somebody's arm, you know, for the shoulder, if there's a problem up there. We do that twice a week or four weeks. That causes all the stem cells to come in and implant into that tissue, almost like a seed. Okay, and then we would have somebody come back once a week for four weeks. That brings more stem cells into the area. Also, it produces like a weeding effect. It continues to break up more scar tissue, leaving more room for the stem cells to heal and grow. And then, you know, what's called proliferation and remodeling, where those stem cells all grow together and actually remodel that ligament joint tissue uh, that's been damaged. Now, one of the most common questions I have you know, with stem cells, especially with people with arthritis, is like, what's the expectancy of how long it's gonna help somebody? Okay. Research shows, if you can think of it, it turns the, the hand of the clock back about five to 10 years. So it's not gonna get rid of your arthritis, but it is gonna you know, get rid of that scar tissue, get rid of the degeneration, allow those muscles like the tendons to heal and repair itself, you know, and it's gonna give you five to 10 years you know, of, of use without that, you know, deterioration, joint pain, and uh, chronic injuries. You know, most of you probably know my story of, you know, how I became a chiropractor, and this does also lead into, uh, you know, actual, why we have the stem cell machine. You know, I, you know, grew up playing sports. You know, I had five brothers, I had two sisters, we were all active in sports, we were always playing outside, we're always injuring ourselves. Um, me in particular, you know, I grew up with allergies and asthma. And I don't know if any of you had allergies or asthma, but you know, it's, especially, you know, at the time it's debilitating. You're always having to take, you're relying on medication, you know, drugs. You have an inhaler, you're always carrying it around. Especially if you're playing sports, you're always hacking things up. You're always literally having to take a puff on the inhaler. Um, and my parents didn't know any different. You know, they, you know, took me down the medical route. And actually I saw a chiropractor in high school while I was playing football just for the, the chronic pain or injuries. But that's as far as it went. Now when I got to college, I had the opportunity to play at Kalamazoo College. We actually had a team chiropractor and he was more of a wellness doctor. He explained the importance of the spine and nervous system, how our bodies are designed to be healthy, you know, how our bodies are designed to heal and adapt to stress. And lo and behold, you know, over time when I was getting adjusted, initially it was three times a week, um, but then over a year it was once a week, and you know, I noticed my allergies, asthma, and poopy. Okay, until to the point where I didn't have to rely on that inhaler. And really, that's what sparked my interest in chiropractic, because I wanted to provide that relief, you know, that hope, as well as that education to other people, and specifically families and children, you know, that. You know, really our bodies are designed to be healthy. You know, they're designed to heal and adapt to stress. You know, specifically, the nervous system has to be functioning properly for that. Okay, now that brought me to chiropractic school. Well, in chiropractic school, I played rugby. Okay, and if anyone knows anything about rugby, it's like football, but 10 times harder on the body and the joints. Okay, so playing rugby, I've separated, you know, both shoulders multiple times. You know, I. I tore an ACL, that was in football, but I did tear an ACL, um, meniscus damage. I have ruptured discs in my lower back, I've broken bones, um, which, you know, again, the body's designed to heal, so a lot of those things did heal, but sometimes things healed in wrong. Okay, there are limitations that matter. Um, so 24 years later, in a physical job, like a you know, chiropractic job, you know, I was having problems. You know, I had a hard time adjusting people, um, so I needed to find something for myself, you know, to help my joints out. Um, and of course I knew about Softwave because I had some friends that had it. Um, so I specifically bought the machine for myself. 
and I started using it on my elbows, quite honestly, which traced the problem up to my shoulders and, uh, and used it on my knees. I've used it on my children, and I saw the amazing results. You know, when you can't adjust somebody, you can't, you know, play with the kids, or quite honestly, even my daughter, she couldn't dance because she injured her ankle. Um, I have another daughter who was, you know, tore a hamstring running or tore a hamstring running. You know, it's made a huge difference, you know, obviously in their life, but also mine. And I saw the changes, and that's where I definitely wanted to introduce it to our practice members, um, which we did. You know, we've had softly now since July, and we've actually been able to help hunt at over 100 people um, with it. We've also introduced softly, probably some of you've seen our soft wave um, advertisements on uh, Facebook. <coughs> You know, so we have introduced it to the public as well. You know, so it is amazing technology. And you know, that's what you know, we're offering today, as well as what's called a mapping session. Probably the next, next best thing about SoftWave is it has what's called a biofeedback loop to it, which means we can run it over a damaged tissue. So if you come in you know, with shoulder or knee issues or you have neuropathy, and we can take this machine and we can do what's called a mapping session, run it over the damaged ligaments, tendons, muscles, and we'll know with a pretty high certainty if we can help you or not. Because it's gonna go right through this acoustic sound waves and go right through healthy tissue. You'll hear it and you'll see it. You know, it's like a flashing light, but you're not gonna feel it. As soon as it hits damaged tissue, you're gonna feel it. Uh, okay, so. And, and that's the other thing that's great about this too, is so many people come in, you know, where maybe they're complaining about knee problems, you know, on the left side, but when we do the mapping session, you know, it's really not the left side that's just compensating, you know, for the outside or for the, where the actual muscles attach, you know, into the knee itself. You know, so with the mapping session, we know with at least a 95% certainty if we can help somebody or not. Because we've also had it where you know, some people have come in with some conditions or problems where we haven't been able to help them. So that's, uh, that's something also that was very important is, is I want to have a high certainty um, because, you know, when, the other question I want to ask me is does insurance cover stem cell? You know, no insurance, this doesn't matter what provider provides it, uh, covers stem cell. I mean, it's extremely effective Medical doctors use it, orthopedists use it, like I mentioned, cardiologists use this technology. Um, they don't necessarily use the same technology for cancer, but cancer treatments use it, using stem cells now. Um, but you know, insurance, unfortunately, does not contribute towards it. But it's extremely effective. Uh, so what we're doing today is we are offering, so normally, you know, the cost of the consultation, the mapping session, and then the report of findings is normally $100. Okay, and that's actually discounted, a typical treatment, like if you, it's $250, but we've discounted to 100. Uh, for being here today, um, it's 49. Okay, so if anyone's interested in getting a mapping, se mapping session for yourself or a, a friend or family member, um, Angelo handed out everyone, you know, just a brief description of stem cell, you know, for you to share with somebody, or maybe you go home, you have some questions, um, as well as two of those $49 coupons. Okay. Um, and that, those coupons are good till Wednesday at noon. Okay. Uh, and I'll tell you, especially with our Facebook ad, I mean, you know, the, the stem cell, you know, there's a lot of people that are getting the mapping sessions done. You know, so time is limited. Um, we are, you know, just, I'm trying to keep the price as low as possible, just to be very honest with you. Um, but, you know, it's not a cheap uh, technology. Wednesday tomorrow. Wednesday tomorrow at noon. Just make, you have to make an appointment. Like, I mean, I'm, we won't be able to get everyone in. I mean, it'll take a week or two weeks, you know, before you might actually be able to get your appointment right now. We're, we're just doing the mapping sessions on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, we do do treatments throughout the week, obviously. Um, you know, like I said, the, the typical treatment is, it's twice a week for two weeks. So that's four treatments. That brings all the stem cells in the area, floods the area to heal and repair. Um, and then uh, once a week, 
you know, for four weeks, it's kind of like weeding out, continue bringing, you know, fresh stem cells in, uh, breaking up any more scar tissue that's in the area so there's, those cells can proliferate and grow. Um, and then at the end of 12 weeks, really the treatment at the end of 12 weeks um, is the time for us to sit down, go over how somebody's improved. Um, it typically takes about 12 weeks also for the stem cells to fully implant, grow, and proliferate. Okay. And then from there, that's when somebody would decide like, you know what, for the next year I want to do more of a, we call it matrix remodeling uh, program, which is once a week for a quarter, uh, once a week or once a quarter uh, for a year. And again, not, I would say only half of our patients actually do that, um, you know, because of more so the people that are, they still want to run, they're still playing pickleball, they're still putting all that damage in the joints, uh, so then they choose to do that afterwards. How long does it take? Like if you go first session, like how long is it? An hour? So so the 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 first session we schedule a half an hour. Okay. Uh, okay. The actual soft waves, you know, it's it's basically um, it's seven hundred acoustic sound waves is what a treatment is. Um, you know, it really depends. Let's say it's your lower back. Uh, okay. Well, that does take a little bit longer okay. because by the time you land the table, you know, and you know, we work on that area. And some people again, like we find specifically the lower back. You know, sometimes it's deep in the psoas muscles, so you know it's not just laying on your back and getting this done. Right. It's it's really treating the areas. So I would say the average is about 15 minutes. Oh, sounds good. Yeah. So the treatments don't take long at all. Okay. Yeah. What's the <clears throat> success rate? I mean, how do you find the success rate? So the success, you know, so 95 percent of people. 90%. Oh, okay. Once they go through the mapping session, we do find the areas. That's the published success rate. Uh, okay, um, you know, I can tell you with everyone that we've had, we've had one person, you know, quite frankly, we were treating her wrist, and, uh, you know, after three or four visits, she just like, she didn't notice any difference, so she quit. Uh, okay, um, we had um, somebody else, this is one thing you can't do, we had somebody else, we were treating for plantar fasciitis, and during her treatment, she saw her, her podiatrist and she got an injection of cortisol. You can't, you know, that's one thing we can't do. We can't, you know, that's, that's about, there's two things we can't do. We can't run over any cancer, okay, because it increases blood flow by so much. You know, that's, that's counterindicated, obviously. Um, and then the other thing is we can't treat an area um, until, I, oh, it has to be 12 weeks after a cortisone injection because it pushes that cortisone into the joint and it's gonna cause a lot of discomfort. You know, so like those are really the only two, you know, that we've, that weren't successful. Are there any more risks besides the cancer? And no. Any other risks that we're No, I, I, can, I can tell you <clears throat> if we're, so we can control the intensity. Okay, a lot of it's your communication with us on how high we turn it up. Okay, if, if it is too intense, okay, which, you know, when we first got the machine, you know, for some people maybe it was like too intense, it broke up too much scar tissue, and then they felt great the first day, uh, okay? And then the next day, they were sore. Um, but that was... So it probably depends on the spot too, though, right? I mean, it depends on the person. I mean, it really, it depends on the spot and the person, but I find it's more of the, like some people are like more the better. They just sit there and they grit it, but they grit it with a smile, so we don't know. Um, or they don't drink enough water, you know, afterwards, you know, so then all that lactic acid, all that scar tissue that we broke up just sits there. Um, I've also had it too where, you know, we were running and on somebody, in fact it was a runner, you know, for his knees and he was feeling so good, you know, so long as you're doing, long as you continue to do what you're doing, you're fine. But then they said to go out and play pickleball. And, you know, this is after... Yeah, I think their second or third treatment. And then, you know, he comes in, you know, the next treatment, you know, in pain again, and he took a big step back uh, because of that. So that's one thing we, we definitely don't want. You can do anything you're already doing it, doing, because your body's used to it, but we don't want to add anything. So you feel better after one or two treatments? You know, and that's also where everyone's different. I mean, I can tell you, in fact, I do have a quick video, like a testimonial video, um, but like Deb, who was actually in the video, She'll talk about her lower back and hip. We actually, we did the mapping session on her shoulder. 
And after her mapping session on her shoulder, and I don't recommend this, I don't even like telling the story, because, um, but we did the mapping session on her shoulder because her problem was in her shoulder. She couldn't lift her shoulder above her head for the last six months. We did the mapping session on her and it was like back to 100%. So when she actually came back for a treatment, she decided she wanted to do a treatment on her hip now because that was giving her more issues. And that's what we did. And she hasn't had a problem with her shoulder since. Um, but there's a difference. See, what that did is it reduced the inflammation enough. Okay, almost like that cortisone shot, reduced the inflammation enough that she was probably able to get that mobility back. You know, but it didn't really give it any type of long-term, you know, healing because there wasn't enough stem cells to actually get in there to actually fully heal and repair the area. So you know a couple of my problem areas. If, if one's this shin and one's this foot, is that one treatment? Is how is that all? How <laughs> no, that, that, that's a good question. Like, hey, yeah, no, no. no. Pressure spots, so they, don't one... stick, they don't stick you in the side, you big machine. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, that's a good question because so 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 we will um, like here. Here's a prime example. Um, it actually was the one gentleman that um, you know he came in with neuropathy. And we started in this push. We literally mapped up. You know, I mean, typically a mapping session is 300. Um, we must have probably used 1,500. And we were all over the place and we just couldn't find it. Um, we couldn't, you know, really find what was causing it. It was, you know, at that point, I don't wanna, they say you can still treat somebody without finding those spots, um, those hot spots, but, um, you know, it's also pretty expensive. I don't wanna, you know, hope help somebody um, so with that instance we just don't so like we would run it all over now going back to both joints we will treat two joints but only if they're like two knees two elbows two shoulders um, we won't treat a shoulder and a knee at the same time and the reason is is um, sit you know number one our bodies only produce so many stem cells um, so we want to focus it in the area you know versus two different joints um, of you know, of different locales. Now, we have probably about five people that have had both knees done um, at the same time. Now, knees are a little bit different, same thing with shoulders, because so many times, one's compensating for the other, okay? Um, but that's like two 700 soft wave treatments on each knee. We do offer a little bit more of a discount, um, you know, if somebody does, it's, you know, we offer a 10% discount. You know, again, we want to keep it as affordable as possible, but, but it's still a $100,000 machine. So just on that topic, it's about $2,000 for 12 sessions for a shoulder. If I know both shoulders are need help, is it, is it four grand or is it? It's, so it, it's, I mean, it's, it's 19, 12, 50 for one joint, 1,900 and you know, I've done, yeah, we've done enough of yeah. Um, how much, um, we just. So it is, so it's uh, 19, 12, 50 for 700 soft waves for one joint. And if we do the two, um, it's an extra, I think it's an extra 5%. Um, so the 20% discount brought to 3,600 for two. Yeah, we just, he just had. So this is Angel, he's actually the one um, who actually does the treatments. Oh, okay. So. Yes. Have you ever had any information regarding age? Um, because we produce less stem cells, correct, as we age? We do, and also our stem cells, they're not as vibrant, right. you know, as we get older. Um, I have not, you know, seen any research on it. Um, I am cautious, I, you know, but, but the flip side of that is, is, you know, even with my children, I've used this, I mean, I won't introduce or do anything on a, on a practice member that I don't use myself or haven't used on a family member. You do have to be careful though, just the opposite side of that is adults, we can run it anywhere, oh, okay, any joint. On children, we can't run it over growth plates um, or there's contraindication for that. Actually, I didn't think about that, but, you know, I, but, you know, I still, you know, like with my daughter, there's a growth place in her ankle, but you know, we, you know, we still did it, and she still got great results. You know, so, um, but but I, 
you know, I would be hesitant to run it on because we do have a lot of kids that are like sports. You know, like we'll run it if they tear a hamstring. Uh, we've had kids in sports, you know, fracture ribs. Um, now those treatments are a little bit different. Those are more acute treatments. You know, those are like two visits. You know, we had a wrestler, you know, fracture a rib. Um, he was out from wrestling for a week. We did two treatments. He was back on the mat the next week. Um, yeah. So, um, if you were both getting your chiropractic 12, I think it's a 12 week session, you come three times a week? Yeah, so a lot of times initially we'll see someone in chiropractic three times a week. How long we see them is more dependent upon how long their problem's been there. Okay, so for, yeah, so for. That wasn't my question. Okay. So if, if, um, if you had, you know, this is my husband, Todd. If you were coming, I was coming and doing that, and then we both wanted new um, care from the soft way, is there any package for spouses, family members that, like if you were doing the full, because obviously that starts looking very, very expensive, but um, sometimes you need both right. um, to get your body, you know. Yeah, I, so I know what you're talking, talking about now, yeah. So, so we don't package chiropractic and stem cell together, to answer your question. Um, we do have spouses, you know, that also do get stem cells. So what we do is if they both start at the same time, then they get that two joint discount. Oh, okay. If one starts and then the next one starts, you know, then their spouse gets the two joint discount. What if it's not a joint? then I'd rather not work on it. I mean, just, well, <coughs> muscles, I mean, because I, I have had, you know, people, um, you know, well, you know, I think it's fine. Like, you know, I've had uh, somebody, you know, with, uh, yeah, it, was, it was more internal, you know, issues that she was dealing with as one of her doctor's wives, you know, so I did work on her for that, but the, the truth is, is chiropractors are supposed to focus on musculoskeletal issues. Okay, so um, yes, you can use it for other things, um, but we won't use it in our office. What about like neck? Well, that, yeah, neck and shoulders. Yeah, neck and shoulders. Still, mu so muscles, ligaments, tendons, we will work on. Okay. Yeah, so neck, shoulders, um, rotator cuffs, that's all related. So depending on the spot, can it be two treatments or has it got to be the whole you use your own judgment on that if you were to come in and do this and after one or two more sessions after that so so sometimes like for instance we have seen especially with something comes with an elbow elbow issue you know we'll start treating the elbow and and that was the, you know my issue i was treating both elbows and my elbows were feeling great but then i hit like the stalemate um and so i have other colleagues i have a doctor in germany who you know, obviously I consult with, and he's like, well, check your shoulder. You know, so I, and sure enough, like, I had to treat my shoulder to really correct the problem. You know, so yes, we will, in, in once you correct one area, you know, for instance, and I'm just gonna use the shoulder, um, but you can do the same thing in the knee, like, you know, a lot of times we'll, we're focusing on through here, but once we get this corrected, you know, it was the sh lower shoulder blade, infraspinatus muscle that was actually the, the, the real problem. I guess the main reason I'm here now is minor fasciitis, which right. I know right where it's at. <laughs> yeah. And I've like, the cortisone shot's done it and it's healed it. But right. it's also now older, it's 10 years later now, right. but I haven't had it. I've, I've, I've fought it off for the last 10 years and been running through it like crazy. And now I'm stopped, I'm, I'm done. To the point where they give you the cortisone shot, they can rupture it. Right. You know, there's always that chance, but they're just trying to get that blood flow in there by puncturing it. Right. So plantar fasciitis is, I'm not going to lie, is the most difficult joint to work with. Okay. I think I told you that before. It's, um, so that that's the only one where I've had to, you know, like we want to help people. So like, let's just say like with an injury, we'll always give somebody like an extra visit if they need it. Okay, like if you decide I'm doing so well, I'm gonna go out and play, or like, you know, the gentleman goes out and plays pickleball, I'm like, get get right in here. You know, we'll do a, a free treatment, okay? 
But we know with plantar fasciitis, like as it's going on, is somebody, that's the only one we needed more, you know, treatments. Not typically less. Not no, typically. Not, not typically less. Okay. Um, unfortunately, you don't let plantar fasciitis going along long enough, you start forming bone spurs. And that's where, going back to plantar fasciitis specifically, so many times it's actually in the calf, you know, or the shin, you know, and it's that Achilles coming down attaching, you know, to the calcaneus, and that's pulling everything forward. So like, it's usually like the whole calf and foot by the time you're done. <clears throat> but that's where the mapping session, we know where to start and we can say yes, you know, or no, you wouldn't be a candidate. So say, say you went through one of the treatments for, uh, say your shoulder, and hey, it worked great, okay? You uh, go five, 10 years, and uh, it comes back to you. Would you go through this? That's what I would recommend. Okay. I mean, it'd be quite <coughs> honest with you, in five to 10 years, there may be some other type of stem cell, you know, therapies out there. I mean, it's, it's. I just had a friend who got back, or a friend and patient who got back from Mexico. They implanted part of a placenta in his side for stem cells. Well, he j literally, he just got back. This, okay. He literally just got back this week, you know, but, but yeah, no, it's in the whole idea with placenta, it's got full term stem cells in that placenta that are undifferentiated. So as your body needs it, it's going to take it. So that, that is the future. I mean, unfortunately you had to go to Mexico to get that done. So we're, we're, you're saying we're in the experimental phase right now. Well, we're, 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 we're in, well, just, just imagine how long it took Chi to get to yeah. 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 I, I don't think we're in the experimental phase. I just think in the U.S., we don't always want to know what the cure is. If you ask, if you, I mean, I'm just going to be very frank and honest. Like, like if, if you have to go to Mexico, this has been approved in Germany, and it takes 10 years for it to be FDA approved in the U.S., something's wrong. You know, and this isn't the only thing they've been using this for in Germany. You know, I mean, there's, and same thing with stem cells. I mean, you know, stem cell injections. I mean, if you want to be treated for cancer, you know, and like for instance, if you have cancer in the brain and, you know, and it's a viable treatment, like there's research, study after research, why wouldn't it be available in the US? Why do you have to go to, you know, you know to, to uh, either Europe, you know, or, or to Mexico? That's just my opinion. That's not, yeah. you know, you know. So it's I, I hate to say it, but they don't always want the cure. If there was a cure, there, there would be no problem for them to solve. So that's why I said you'll see. I mean, stem cells. It, it is the future, and, and a lot of us are old enough in here. We've seen stem cells already progress. I mean, it used to be on TV because you know they used fetus and stem cells, which was 100% against most people's religious beliefs. You know they don't do that anymore. Like it's now over the harvesting the own body stem cells because they saw how it has worked so well. You know, and and you know obviously they have this machine which is your own body stem cells. They're using either umbilical donor stem cells or full term placenta stem cells. Um, I mean, this is the first time I've ever heard anyone implanting a placenta. You know, in the body, but the whole idea is stem cells. They're doing the same thing you can't do in the U.S., but they're treating blood disorders um, by actually <coughs> doing blood transfusions with stem cells in the blood. What kind of disorders? Uh, leukemia and and different different uh, blood issues, uh, where they're actually um, actually long-term COVID. That's that was one of the big things that people were going outside of the country for is, you know, long-term COVID sy symptoms is actually uh, doing infusion of stem cells. So, so it's, it's hard to say what's going to happen in five to 10 years, but, you know, this, this is what we have now. And, you know, for me, it's, it, it's safe. It follows my focus as a chiropractor uses your own body's healing. And our bodies are producing these stem cells naturally. 
you know, what it's doing is it's activating them, you know, congregating them in one area so it can heal and repair. It just kind of speeds up the normal process. Um, you know, and it's it's more cost effective than any other treatments. I do have, um, and I apologize. Okay. So, would you tell someone who's thinking about getting a soft drink down the road? Definitely not. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. So, what have you noticed since you've gotten soft? So he had his shoulder treated. That was after his fifth visit. So she was somebody that had previous back surgery, actually multiple back surgeries. She's also under chiropractic care, but again, her scar tissue is disintegration. session on her shoulder and she actually came in for her knee on um, this I kind of forget who this video is we got these earlier but uh, came in for actually a knee problem but when we did the mapping session it wasn't her knee it was actually coming from her hip so um, we also have a lady who um, you know was actually has an MRI was scheduled for surgery her actually her husband is a medical doctor and you know, she came and got soft wave. I mean, she uh, was up in Canada hiking, you know, four weeks after her initial treatment. So again, I don't necessarily recommend that. Um, but for her, it was already part, it was already in the books for her to visit her daughter. So, um, you know, so again, there is a lot of people, you know, that are using stem cells. And we're not the only one that provide, you know, soft wave. I will say, if, you, if you're gonna get, you know, stem cell regeneration, do the soft wave. I mean, there's a, you know, there's a, a physical therapist in an office in Kalamazoo that has a machine. Um, there's one that's going to be in Hudsonville, you know, because there's not a ton. There's only like 600 of them in the in the U.S. Um, but they are becoming more and more, you know, prevalent. But there's also some machines that aren't, you know, they're they're, they're they they're stem cell machines, uh, soft wave machines. Um, but it's, they look, the head's about this big and, and they're not very effective. <coughs> so. okay. Any other questions? <clears throat> yes. So I do have to say, um, my mom is actually going through the soft wave right now um, for her knee. Um, <coughs> so she'll be 60 this year. Um, and it's, it's a previous injury and it's kind of bothered her off and on for 15 years. You know, it'll bother her, it'll go away for two or three years and it'll come back. But um, just recently it was swollen to twice the size of her other knee. Um, she couldn't walk on, I mean, she was hobbling on it, but I mean, it was to the point where she couldn't walk on it. Um, she surpassed her two appointments per week um, and so she's into her one appointment per week. Um, but she, uh, so she has no pain now at all. Um, there was one time when it was a little bit achy and she said that, you know, she talked to 
the person that was doing it and they just said, you know, it must have been a little bit intense, you know, and so they just backed it down a little bit. And, um, but she was at my house, I was doing yard work and she kept trying to help and I kept telling her to stop because I didn't want her to injure her knee and she's like, no, I mean, she was down on her hands and knees um, on a cushion, but she was at my house doing yard work and she's like, I came back to the chiropractor and she's like, I told him that I was on my hands and knees and I was doing yard work and she's like, I literally have zero pain in my knee. And so she, um, I don't know, has went through it and she said it's life changing. She's super excited about it. Um, I don't know, like I said, she's into the one week visit, but she's pretty close to the end now. So, um, but I mean, she said it changed her life. So. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, yeah, don't, I don't, well, I'm I'm not like, even sure your mom no, is. Yeah. <laughs> like you said, you do the yeah, 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 that's Kathy. Yeah. But, oh. um, yeah, you know, she's like, I know, you know, they wanted a testimonial and she's like, I gotta wait until it works, you know, like before I can, you know, let everybody know. But she was like, literally I came in and she's like, I told him I was on my hands and knees and, you know, I kept telling her, I was like, stop, you know, like stop, I don't want you to mess it up. And she's like, literally, you know, she's like, I literally have zero pain in my knee. And she's just like, I, I mean, She's like, I can't say better things about it. You know, she's like, it literally has changed my life. And you know, we were talking about it because you know the assumption was that it would it would last her five to ten years. And she had a friend um, that was not, uh, you know, obviously they didn't know what it was, but they were just like, I don't know, that sounds kind of silly. It's only going to last five to ten years. You know, like why would you waste your time with it? And the thing was just that for the price that it is, you know, if it's gonna if it's gonna save me five to 10 years, what's the worst thing that's gonna happen? I'm gonna have to come back in five or 10 years. But I mean, she's literally at zero pain, you know? She's like, I can't, I mean, if you have surgery, you'd be laid up, you know? And so, um, like I said, there was one treatment where, you know, she's like, it was just really achy, but, then when she came in, you know, it was just one of those that it must have been just a little bit too intense, so they just adjusted it. But other than that, I mean, she's got to be only five or six weeks in, and she's literally at zero pain, no inflammation. Um, I don't know if there's arthritis in her knee. I know she has arthritis in other areas, but whatever it is, is uh, yeah. Good. Thank mm -hmm. you for sharing that. Yeah. Yep. And you know, and too, I just, I mean. <coughs> That's just what research shows that five, ten years. But if you look at the same thing, you look at knee replacement. Yeah, yeah. you get about yeah, it's not much difference. Maybe you get ten years. So, anyone else have any questions at all? You know, so again, you know, just let us know. You know, if you would like to get set up at least with a mapping session, and that's really where to start. One of those like, hey, I want my shoulder treated. You know, like I get emails like that all the time, I don't need to start treatment. I'm like, well, let's first start with a mapping session. Okay, that's gonna let us know, you know, if we can help you or not. Um, you know, so I'd at least, you know, recommend get set up with a mapping session. Or if you do, if your spouse or you know somebody else that has a condition or problem, you know, have them set up for a mapping session. It's $49. Like I said, we reduced it significantly um, just to keep it affordable. Um, we do do a little bit more soft, like, so the, the typical mapping session is 300. We do bump it up a little bit more for our practice members, um, just because they're already getting adjusted. Their bodies are already function better than the average person, um, so they can take more. Um, but with that being said too, you know, we have to listen to the body, so. Okay, so if no one has any 